Now that Phase 2 of Odyssey Alpha is upon us, we now have access to Frontline Solutions, which brings us on-foot conflict zones. Let's take a very quick look at how these work in Alpha Phase 2. There are two primary ways you'll join a conflict, either by a Frontline Solutions dropship or flying there in your own ship. To use Frontline, head to the Frontline Solutions desk in the station. Select a planet displaying the conflict zone icon, then select a settlement and choose a side to fight for. Once selected, you'll be prompted to board the Frontline Solutions dropship, which is, head-scratchingly, not the Federal dropship, but rather the Vulture. Yeah, I don't understand it either. If you choose to fly there, as you approach the instance, you'll be prompted to choose a side using your comms panel, just as you would for in-ship conflict zones. If you were to walk or drive up in your SRV, you'll need to use the new binding, Open Conflict Zone Battle Stats, which is the last choice under on-foot mode switches. Don't worry, we'll cover all bindings in a future video very soon. Currently, there are both low and high intensity zones. While I suggest starting with the low, they get pretty easy pretty quickly, so you'll likely want to move to a high zone soon after. The primary difference are the NPCs. In the high zones, they will have much stronger shields and armor, and unfortunately are massive bullet sponges. In a conflict, each side starts with 1,000 points, losing points for deaths or loss of control points. Enemy kills cost 10 points, with control point loss costing 100. When a team reaches zero, they can no longer respawn, at which point you need only kill every last enemy to win. You'll see the remaining number of enemies on your HUD just below the score. Once a team reaches zero, you need not worry about control points, save for preventing the enemy from taking your points to zero. Once a conflict zone is complete, you can request a dropship return you to your origin, or if you brought your own ship, you can fly to a station to cash in your combat bonds, of which none will be lost if you die during the fight. If you'd like to have another go, simply log out to the main menu and back in and a new instance should spawn. You'll need to use the same bindings as before to select a side. While the NPC AI is far less than stellar, the environments are very well done and the combat is fast and furious. I'll cover all the weapons and utilities in a later video. For now, I hope you'll let me know your thoughts on all this new gameplay. Are you enjoying it? Do you find it challenging? Have you upgraded your suit or weapons yet? We're still early in the alpha for Odyssey, and while there are many, many things that need to be addressed, I'm optimistic this will be a great expansion for Elite Dangerous. This has been Commander Exegius of edtutorials.com, reminding you to strut dangerously, and thanks for watching.